हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर संजय यादव टुडे वी विल कवर टॉपिक ऑफ स्टीयरिंग सिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑल यू नो व्हाट इज स्टीयरिंग सिस्टम स्टीयरिंग सिस्टम इज द मैकेनिज्म बाय विच वी कैन टिल्ट अवर फ्रंट व्हील्स ऑफ द व्हीकल विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्टीयरिंग व्हील द एंगुलर मोमेंट ऑफ स्टीयरिंग व्हील इज कन्वर्टेड इनटू एंगुलर मोमेंट ऑफ फ्रंट wheels and then we are able to turn the vehicle in the left and right direction as per our desire now in the steering system first of all what is the purpose of steering system what is the purpose of steering system the steering system allows the driver to guide the car along the road and turn left or right as desired then the system includes the following parts first is steering wheel then function of steering wheel is what drive driver the controls which the driver controls he can control the vehicle from the steering wheel then second one is steering gear from steering gear which changes the rotary motion of the wheel into straight line motion then third one is steering linkages by which transmit the steering gear movement to the front wheels now the steering system configuration depends on vehicle design at present the rack pinion type system of steering is used most of steering system were manual until a few year back the power steer become popular it is now installed on almost all costly cars then function of steering system these are the following functions of steering system first function is the primary function of steering system is to achieve angular motion of the front wheels to negotiate a turn that is the angular motion of the front wheels second function is to provide directional stability of the vehicle when going straight ahead then third is the recovery to facilitate straight ahead recovery after completing a turn then fourth one is sorry third one is fourth one to minimum wear and tear of tires then to absorb a major part of road shocks thereby preventing them to get transmitted to the hands of driver and the last one is to provide perfect rolling motion of the road shocks road wheels at all the times then after functions of steering system we will come to the next topic requirement of steering system the requirement of steering systems are it should be very accurate then it should be easy to handle then provide directional stability and fourth one is multiply the turning effort applied on the steering wheel by the driver the last one is it should be re- irreversible to a certain degree so that the wheel shocks cannot be transmitted to the hands of the driver this one is the general arrangement or you can say component of the steering system in which the figure shows us the components of steering system these are the following components of the steering system first is the steering wheel this one is this part is the steering wheel by moving the steering wheel we can tilt the front wheels in the desired direction this one is the steering column in which steering shaft is there from the black color it is highlighted it is fitted into the steering column with the help of bearing so that the column is the fixed part and the steering axis steering shaft can rotate inside it then it connects with the steering gear box the purpose of gear box is to transmit the power from the steering wheel to the pitman arm this one is the 
pitman arm and the linear momentum of pitman arm is transmitted into the drop arm which is also known as pull and push rod then this drop arm will shift your knuckle arm which is connected with the tie rod and that tie rod is being deflect our front wheel tires in the desired direction so that is all about your steering wheel in the next video we will upload about the different steering geometry like caster camber kingpin inclination toy in toy out thank you students